was competency time at my PRN job. I've worked here as a journalist for three years, and annually I have competency testing for hematology, coag, chemistry, microbiology, and blood bank. I want to get microbiology done first, since that's usually where I float. My first competency is from various sources of collection, and I have to read and grade white blood cells or organisms on each slide, just like I would report on a patient. And competency is literally just proving that you can still do your job, that you can perform every single method of testing in that lab that we are reporting patient results for. So yeah. You ready to go on a walk? Subtle. It's not overly strong like Ooh, I expected it. It tastes like a butter cookie. It's like the sour patch, the sugar on top of the sour patch is what it tastes like. Three, two, one. <laughs> I wouldn't buy these again. <laughs> Just got my allergy shots for immunotherapy and <laughs> you probably can't see it but um I have to get three shots in my arm every week twice a week for the foreseeable future until I uh, reach my maintenance dose but um getting really hungry so I'm gonna go get lunch. <laughs> data analysis for cholera disease. It's just a really big CSV file um, spanning 24,000 rows of different recorded uh, cases of cholera disease over a span of 10 years of like 2006 to 2016. And <laughs> I had just simple questions to analyze like 
how has cholera infection rates changed over the last 10 years and what countries are most affected by cholera as well as how has cholera infections impacted regions around the world so those are the three questions that i'm answering i just really need to practice r i've already taken two classes in r this year and i still feel like I'm just fumbling around with it. So I have another class in R to take uh, this fall and I want to make sure that I actually know this language good enough to be successful in the class. So any kind of thing that I do practice wise with data sets, I'm going to publish on my website once I have it up and running because it's up. It's just, it doesn't look the way I want it to look right now before I start sharing it. Um, but yeah, I'm excited. I've never built a website from scratch, <laughs> so it's been an interesting and, and frustrating process, but I'm thinking I'm on the right track. <sighs> I got some stuff for my MacBook. Dad actually told me about this stuff and let me try his, and um, it's supposed to be good for inflammation because I have issues with like asthma and allergies and just a lot of inflammation in my going to try to drink this um, a few times a week. I got a mini stuffer that I'm going to try out tonight. <laughs> kit swore up and down that it could lift your roots like black all the way to platinum but it did not do that although on the first try I'm a lot lighter than normal when I do the box kits and stuff but you can clearly see a strong demarcation line <laughs> from the platinum versus um, the roots I'll give it six months to grow out um, and then I'm gonna do a touch-up but just on the part that's not blonde and I'm not going to go back to the roots again if that makes sense I'm going to leave it alone and just let it grow out I don't like wearing my hair up when I first color it because I just don't like the way the roots look so I think if anything when I go back to work I'm just going to wear it up like I think this is cute what do y'all think? It looks okay. It's in there now. <laughs> I can't change it. <laughs> uh, I guess I'm gonna end this vlog here. Um, I'll talk to y'all later.